and I don't even want to post this dream. I had a dream that when I would go to sleep, I was going to heaven a lot of times. I kept going back and forth to heaven, but I was going to heaven when I would go to sleep and I was talking with the Lord and getting instructions and then I would come back to the earth and that's when I would wake up and I was getting dreams from heaven and everything and I would wake up to these dreams and I saw how people would come to my house to work, to do different work for me, which is true in real life. I have a lot of different people that I've worked with over the years that have done, you know, different work for me, stuff like that. And then some of them would take the mark of the beast. It is something that a lot of people are taking right now. And the dream showed me that they would take it even though they would hear the warnings telling them not to take this thing. They would get like they would hear the warnings from myself and other prophets. The Lord showed me like some of them never heard it from me. They was hearing it from other prophets and other watchmen of God, like not even prophets, but people who God had given the assignment to tell their family members and different people. Like God had given the assignment to people that wasn't even prophets. They was just Christians and they would hear it from them. So they knew the Lord showed me that they had heard it. They had heard that it was toxic poison, that it was the mark of the beast. They feared the government. They didn't want to get sick from the virus that's going around. And they trusted in the government. The dream literally said that they trusted in the government to save them. And so they would go get the mark of the beast, which was the it was the vaccine that was supposed to cure them from this pandemic that's going around. And the dream said point blank that it was the mark of the beast. And so anyway, they would go around and tell different people how they felt fine. They was like, you know, like we're crazy. We just conspiracy theorists and we don't know what we're talking about. And in the dream, these people, it was different people that worked for me. I'm not saying it was all the people that's ever worked for me in my life, but they came back to the house because I needed work done and they was going to do the work. And in the dream, I can instantly tell that they had taken the vaccine, uh, Mark of the Beast. The dream kept calling it the Mark of the Beast. What I literally saw in the dream when they took the shot, they like I saw everything, like when they went to the doctor and got the shot and everything. So, and it showed me how it was the vaccine. But anyway, they would come back to my house trying to do work and I would instantly know that they took it. And... They had a smell to them. Now, in reality, I haven't been given the gift of smelling the people that have the vaccine. I do have a gift of supernatural scent, but I haven't had that one. But I know uh, recently I heard of someone who does. And I was talking to someone else who has a gift of supernatural scent as well. And she was telling me that she hasn't gotten that one yet either. But I was like, wow, you know, that would be awesome if God gave us that. But in a dream, I had it and I could smell them. And through my gift of knowledge, both was kicking in. And I knew instantly that they had taken it. And I saw into their bodies. I saw these nanobots all over their bodies. These tiny metal like tiny little dots that have to be injected in a liquid form. And that's what I saw in the dream. They was injected into them in liquid form because they're so tiny. And they are these tiny metal-like chips, RFID chips. And that's what I saw in the dream. The dream showed me that. And anyway, they had them all over their bodies. I saw that when I looked at them and that's through my gift of knowledge. 
I just looked at them in a dream and I saw these things all over the inside of their bodies. And I knew in the dream that they had only taken the first dose. And I knew that they was going to get worse after the second dose. And I had a knowing in the dream as well because I was looking at them and all of this I was seeing. Like they took the first dose and looking into their bodies, seeing all these things in their bodies. And I said, they're going to get worse when they take the second dose. And later these things inside of them are going to be activated. I said that these things inside of them are going to be activated. And so... They was coming to the house, different people, and they was like, oh, we took it. We're fine. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, we, we're still Christians. And they were saying things like that. We still love God and everything like that. And then I said, you're not coming in, in my house with that. And also their aggression towards me increased, like their hatred towards me increased. They did not recognize it. In a dream, it literally showed me that. They thought they was fine and everything like that. But they had a slight increased dislike slash hatred against me. And I saw it clear as day, but they didn't even recognize it. And not just towards me, it was towards God and towards the things of God and the people of God. But they thought they was fine and they was not. And so anyway, I told them they was not coming in my house and I would not allow anybody in my house like that. And in the dream, it just showed that to get people to work for me in my house, the numbers was dwindling down because I didn't want anybody like that in my house. And so God help us, Jesus. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about that, I think this is also a warning because God has showed me before to get house stuff done. And I think this is a warning that it's going to be harder and harder to get people to work for us and with us because of them taking the mark of the beast. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. So anyway, this is the part of the dream that was really hard for me. In the dream, I saw my oldest daughter and she had taken the mark of the beast to smite me. She took it to smite me. The dream showed me that. It showed me her go to the doctor and get it and take it to smite me. And then she contacted me. In the dream, I saw her face as she was talking to me, but I knew she had contacted me, probably a phone call or a text message. And she told me that she took it to smite me. And she said she was fine And I don't know what I'm talking about. And she was really angry towards me and increased aggression just like before. And I was very sad about that. And I I said it in dream. She can never come over my house. I said that like she could never come over my house. God help us, Jesus. I said she can never come over my house. And and that was it. And so. And in the dream, too, when these people's aggressions would increase towards me, they would look at me in a very evil looking way. Like I could see in the dream through my gift of knowledge, I could see literally see the demons increasing inside of them. And they would look at me and their face would be all twisted and evil looking. But you know what? As I was saying that part about my daughter out loud. Now, that's why I said it was hard for me to post this dream because of what I saw about my daughter. But as I was saying that part out loud, I felt in my spirit that that part could be symbolic. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. (laughs) Because I was like, no, no, the devil is a liar. I woke up praying against that. I said, Lord, Lord, please, Lord, Jesus, help that never to happen. But I felt like the Holy Spirit just told me that God is showing me how to respond when family members take the mark of the beast. And I just felt like he told me that part could be symbolic. Like that is how to respond to our family members that take the mark of the beast because their aggression will increase towards the true believers. And we know this from Matthew 24. It talks about how brother will be against brother and they will be turning people in 
They will be turning people in. And the Lord revealed to me that when it says they will turn people in, that's talking about professing saints, turning in other true saints. Because these professing saints that I'm referring to, they will fear the government. They will go with the government more than God. They will not listen to the prophets. They will listen to the government. And that's what this dream showed me as well. It said point blank, they feared the government more than God. And that is not a true Christian. A lot of people think these are true Christians. They are not. That's one of the number one, if not the number one lesson. Thank you, Jesus. I almost forgot this part in the dream. Thank you, Lord. In the dream, I saw the Bible open up in the dream. It opened up and went straight in the middle of the Bible. Thank you, Jesus. Went straight to that scripture right in the middle of the Bible. And that scripture was highlighted. And it was the scripture that said how it is better to put our confidence in God than to put our confidence in man. And when I saw that scripture in the dream, I instantly knew that that is the lesson that we have to learn in this life is not to fear the government, not to fear man over God. These are not true Christians that are doing this, that are taking the mark of the beast. They fear the government over God. They messed up. They missed the number one scripture in the middle of the Bible. And they are not on their way to heaven. They are headed to hell. They fear the government over God. That means also they fear Satan over God. They worship Satan over God. They believe in Satan. They believe. Listen to that. They believe in Satan over God. That's what that means. And that's why they're going to hell. That scripture, I'm not even lying. That scripture opened up right in the dream. Right, in, Went right to the middle of the Bible and showed me, highlighted that scripture. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, when I woke up from this dream, I went into prayer, praying real hard because of what I saw about my oldest daughter. I was praying to God, that don't come true. And my spirit started singing royalty. You are royalty by Samuel Midas. So the last time that I told you all about my daughter, I had told you how she had came back into my life, got saved, everything was great. Well, when I had this dream, she was out of my life. She had been out of my life for a few months. I don't want to go into why and what happened because it's personal. But I will say that she fell back into the world. And how can two walk together unless they agree? And it caused a rift in between our relationship. So she fell back into the world and she was not talking to me when I had this dream. And then I reached out to her, praise God, that I was able to get through to her. Because I didn't even know if she could get my messages or not. And I told her I had a troubling dream. And she reached back to me and she wanted to know what was the dream about. And I told her the dream. And suffice it to say that the Lord fixed our relationship again. Fixed her relationship with Christ again. She is back right with the Lord again. Praise God. But you guys, please keep her in your prayers. She's 21 years old. She's a grown woman. Please keep her in your prayers. And she told me she would never take that vaccine in a million years. So I give God the glory for that in Jesus name. But just that panic of seeing someone that I love so much in this dream take the vaccine. It was so heartbreaking. And I think the Lord also wanted me to feel that so I can understand what other people are going through. So I can have that compassion for their situations. And also to know how to respond. I was shown in this dream point blank. Do not let them in your house. I pray that you all sincerely take this warning serious. I love you all. God bless you. Bye.